you actually enforce discipline into your school? It's interesting people call me strict, but um, I think they imagine I go up and down the corridors with whips and chains. But actually, it's just about consistency. It's about being really clear with the children what will get you a merit and what will get you a demerit, and then making sure that all the teachers are consistent with that. And for parents at home, they need to do the same thing. Um, if you say that if you do X, Y will happen, you need to follow through. And then the child will stop doing X because they know that you're going to follow through with Y. I think it's our duty as adults to be the authority and lead them in understanding how to behave. And so you need to have a system of sort of praise and punishment, merits and demerits, whatever it is. If you're at home, oh, I don't know, you might put them on the naughty step or you might say you're not going out with your friends this weekend, whatever it is, and, and you want to be consistent. The key word is consistent. What, what are the rules at your school? Can you give us an example? So, oh, I don't know, they have to bring in their equipment. And if they didn't bring in their pens, they would get a, a detention. And people might say, oh my goodness, that's really strict. But you know what? Everyone brings their pen. <laughs> <laughs> so where, there's, no, there's no downside, you know? They make sure that in the evening, their bags are packed and their pens are in there. I forget my pen when I'm going to work. I make mistakes. And part of being a child is to grow up is to learn and to develop. So for me, I'm, I'm absolutely certain that it works for you because I've seen you and I've heard you many, many times and well done to you. Thank you. But it probably wouldn't be the school that I would want my child to go to. Really? Why, we, why is that? Because I believe that I want my child to be creative. And when I think of my childhood, the teachers that most did it for me weren't the teachers who were obsessed with discipline. They were the ones with the earring in their hair creative people, the people that allowed me to pursue my artistic side, which is what I've got. I think it's a mistake to think that creativity comes from a more relaxed atmosphere. I would actually argue that the, the safer the environment, the more predictable the environment in terms of the clarity and the routines where children feel really safe with that. You're describing a prison. No, I'm describing an area where they feel safe enough to then take risks to then think outside the box. I think there should